All right, got me a trail again here today. Um, went to a new lake and got to do some hiking out here for a few days. See that deer? He's right there. Just saw another one that the uh, had been picked clean by the coyotes. This trail is aptly named the Coyote Canyon Trail. Seen uh, deer eating, several birds, a rabbit, um, just fur and feathers along the trail. Be a good place to camp tonight. I bet I hear them good. Well, we've got a beautiful day today. It's about 70 degrees outside. Um, close to the lake, it's about probably 45 to 50 with the wind blowing off the ice. But it's still nice. Um, just going to keep walking every day, to, every day that I can until it's time to go. I uh, only got a couple hands full of days left, so I got to get in shape. Haven't ran since cross country season. All I've been doing is walking. But uh, it's fun to see new scenery, new places. This uh, this trail is pretty cool. It's about a 3.1 mile trail. And I'd actually been here before uh, to see my kids run cross country. They ran on this trail and uh, looked pretty cool back then. So. I'll walk it tonight. I got here kind of late. I went home last night, got a shower, ate a couple good meals, got up, got a little late start today, worked on some stuff around the house, and uh, so kind of got out here a little bit later. So I'll have time to get about three miles in, get camp set up, and uh, supper cooked. Then lay down in the tent. I uh, didn't look at what it's supposed to get down tonight, down to tonight, but I don't think we're supposed to be in the freezing range uh, anytime for the next 10 days. So being right next to the frozen water, it may get a little colder, definitely be high humidity, but should be, should be better than what I've been in the last few nights. Anyway, I'm going to keep on walking. Alright, my phone's a little mad at me. I detoured off the regular route, but they have a path going out here. And I need extra miles, so I'm going to take it. So, there's a trail. And it's cool. And I know where I'm at, so I'm not lost or anything. So one thing I want to mention is I'm taking a lot of videos and photos and adding my pre-trips, my shakedown hikes to my channel. Um, I'm just really trying to get to where I'm uh, a little better at this. So for your sake and for mine, when I look back at these videos, I don't cringe as much. But look at this. I don't want to get too close to this edge, but that's a pretty major drop off. Probably about 20, 30 foot down there. But what a view. Man. Man, how cool is this? Extra bonus trail that don't show up on the all trails map. It continues for miles and miles, it looks like. I get out here too far, I know I'm only about an hour or a mile from camp. So if I have to speed walk back, if it gets too late, I can do that. I just, I'm really curious how far this trail goes. And the views, man, it's amazing. This is so exciting. I had no idea there was something like this semi close to us. It was a bit of a drive to get here. But totally worth it. 
coming up on this point. This bluff. Let's see for miles. That cool sand beach down there. Looks like this might go back to this little road over here. Or it might pop back over the hill and meet up with the old trail. Really cool. All right, so I just got back from that trail. Uh, that was pretty awesome. Uh, had some cliffside views, walked along that limestone wall. That was super amazing. I totally didn't expect that. Um, all of the trail was just, just awesome. So many different views for such a short trail. And I don't know, I mean, four miles, that's not super short, but I'm going to be hiking a 2200 mile trail so I, I guess that's kind of super short here was camp last night and I'm off took a little while longer to get ready this morning uh, since I have the full day out here I went ahead and let my tent dry out it wasn't too wet so getting about a 930 start not bad. Got disc golf out here, an archery range, basketball courts, playgrounds. This place is pretty awesome about noon still pretty chilly uh, temperature reader says 41 degrees it's supposed to get up to 60 today so I don't know what this cloud cover if it's going to either way feels good to hike uh, got a good sweat going hiked six miles and uh, gonna take a lunch break and uh, the grass path trail is right behind me after lunch I'm gonna go do that again it's a geese NATO all right did some stretches during lunch ate some trail mix it was called honey something or another had bananas and like a honey sugar and nuts I don't know if it's because I'm outside and having such a good time that it made the food taste that much better but it was amazing then I had a little breakfast biscuit to go with it uh, I'll eat a lot tonight uh, but anyway gonna hit the trail again here it is Another swirling vortex of geese. So a long time ago, I heard tell that Ponce de Leon may have traveled through this area looking for the Fountain of Youth. I seem to remember he was in Florida, but 
Well, would you look at that? This might be it. Good morning from day three of my second shakedown hike. I uh, got in 10 miles yesterday. I had a phone call at 3. I think I got back to camp around 1.30, 2 o'clock. Uh, sat around for a while. I actually got my camp chair out of the out of the pickup because it was parked close. Um, wanted to relax and take it easy. Um, so my back was a little, little sore. Uh, nothing more than like if I was just working all day. So nothing to worry about there. Uh, but I did develop a pain in my left shin on the outside of my leg. I uh, looked at Mr. Google and said maybe shin splints. Uh, so I didn't go back out hiking after my phone call yesterday. I just stayed at camp, set up camp, and uh, chilled out there, ate a lot of food. Um, this morning got up, packed up inside the tent because it's all foggy outside and getting ready to rain. Uh, would have been a great day to, to do some more hiking but I want to take it easy on that shin. I uh, didn't hurt at all today after I got out of the tent and packed up, everything was fine. So nothing, I don't think there will be anything to worry about there. I'm just going to take it easy for a few days. Um, we actually have basketball games tonight and I got to get stuff dried out before I go. So it's not going to dry out here. I need to go home and dry stuff out. Um, other than that, I'll keep, I'll keep walking with a backpack until it's time to go. But uh, I'd say the second shakedown hike opened some new things to think about and um, looking forward to the big one.